These days, it's really rare for a company to be able to produce something that's truly unique. But here is one of those rare examples. It is the Quick Test QT1, and it's made by a British company called Cliff Electronics. And it serves a niche purpose, and the niche purpose is to be able to hook up electrical things that don't have a plug so you can test them easily and safely. Not only is it safe, but that easy bit makes it really convenient. In fact, it's so convenient that I pretty much have this unit permanently installed on my workbench like that. And the way this thing works is you open it up like that and you attach the device under test. In this case it's just a simple basement or attic light with two leads and the device that I have has a North American color scheme where neutral is white and black is live. You can obviously get it in the British or European color scheme because it is a British company and you've got a neon light showing you there's power on the system and if you close it well it lights up like that. That's all there is to it. It has a few other nice features. Um, you can't close it while you're inserting leads so that's always a good safety aspect. Again working along the lines of keeping someone from becoming complacent. And it also has a fuse in here to protect the whole system in case the device under test were to have a short. The fuse is a standard British BS 1362 fuse, which if you're in England or anywhere that uses British type plugs, would be a fairly easy thing to pick up. It's not quite as easy to pick up in North America, so it's well worth ordering a dozen or so of these fuses. If you're wondering where you can get this device, in North America you can get it from Newark. In the UK you can get it from RS Components, which I believe is all owned by the same mothership. And you can also occasionally see versions of this on eBay and Amazon. And the one thing you do have to look out for is that you're getting one with the correct color scheme for your country. Interestingly enough, there's also a three-phase version. Amazingly, it's rated for 440 volts, or at least one of them is. Well, I'm not sure that I would want to be dealing with something like that with potentially loose wires or 440 volts, but even at that it probably has its uses. Um, the only thing you have to do when you get it, at least when you're buying the North American version, is take the bottom off and attach a power cord. It looks like there is a British version that has a power cord already attached. Um, either way, it's well worth it. The price of this thing is somewhere around $75 plus shipping, of course, in most cases. A little more in some places like Amazon, but wherever you can get it, even if it costs in the end about a hundred bucks by the time it arrives at your doorstep, it's well worth having. And I've really been quite a convert to having this on my tool bench at all times. I guess one other thing worth noting, I have mine plugged into my workbench power, which is fed through a GFCI outlet. Probably a very good thing to do when you are testing something. You could just as easily plug this into the GFCI adapter we built the other day. That would work too. And um, there it is. Not much more to say. What a fabulous niche component that is almost invaluable if you're doing any amount of electrical testing.